Hi, my name is Jeremy Reitz, and I'm here with Reitz Drying Academy and another quick tip. This quick tip is what you need to know about evaporation potential. So I developed evaporation potential as a way to look at vapor pressure differentials. I developed that back in 2005, and it was something that uh, was important to us as we were making transition in the way that we looked at drying. I was developing directed heat drying, the tests and e-test systems and so forth, and we really needed a way to be able to show scientifically what was going on, therefore evaporation potential. It, it, it looks at vapor pressure differentials and gives you a readout in kilopascals instead of inches of mercury. So if you're looking at a, a psychrometric chart, you may look at uh, the evaporation potential and what you got and they look like different numbers. It's simply different units of measurement, same thing that we're measuring. Now, when I started that, I named it evaporation potential simply because that's what it did. It tells you evaporation potential. It can tell you how well your drying environment is set up it cannot tell you rate of evaporation. And really nothing that we have out there, no formulas are gonna be created that will help you to see rate of evaporation in a drying environment. So there's two things that you do to manage evaporation potential. You raise the surface temperature of the wet materials and you dry the air. Now, how do you figure out how much impact that made on your drying environment? Well, I made it real easy by providing the Reeds Dry Calc. It's a free app. You can download it to an Apple device or an Android device. And as long as you have the temperature, relative humidity, and surface temperature of those materials, it's gonna give you major insights into your next drying project. So give it a try. Let me know how you like it.